In this episode, I'm taking you into my kitchen. I can't wait to show you how I continue decorating with my vintage blue theme for summer. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Now most of everything is cleared out of here and any of the things that I had to climb uh, to decorate has already been decorated. So I'm not showing you too much of the window and the shelves. So those have already been done, but here it is. It's just time to clean it all up and then decorate it. So come along with me as we get my kitchen decorated for the summer months. I just want to welcome you if you're new here today at Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. My name's Rebecca Rohr. I do a lot of home decorating, thrift shopping, and hauls. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Okay guys, let's start over in this little corner here. I got this tray from Hobby Lobby. It's a smaller one and you're going to see the larger one. I'm going to use it later on. But I'm going to place that right here and I've got a little cutting board. This little lamp has been on my hutch for years and years. I thought it was time to change it up. I really like how this looks in here. So I'm going to enjoy it in here for a while. I've got my farmhouse style ladder with a blue ticky to go with my vintage blue that I'm doing here in my kitchen this summer. And I just have a little wooden ornament there with a rooster on it. A little creamer with some measuring spoons. And just for summer and the festive holidays coming up, I have the little red timer and this tiny little cloche with a couple of strawberries in it. And there I can go right into the festive holidays with the red, white, and blue with this vignette. This next area I want to decorate is another cutting board. You guys know I love cutting boards. A little riser. I got this blue. It looks like Roseville, but it's not Roseville. I've had this for quite a few years, and I'm just going to place it there and add some greenery, and that will complete that area. The next area I'm moving into is on my stove. I have this noodle board that Larry made for me many years ago out of a wood that you is no longer available. It's uh, called a wormy chestnut. It's got worm holes in it. Chestnuts are no longer uh, available. You will not find any chestnut trees. So if you find the wood, then uh, you have a piece of treasure. For this area, I have my scale. And here is a berry bowl that I thrifted. And I got these strawberries, these faux strawberries. You can tell up close they're fake, but from a distance they do look real. And I have put them, I got them from Amazon. And I had just some little greenery leaves that matched. And I have placed them in on the scale. My next item is a cutting board that my husband made for me. I'm going to use it as a little riser. I have a set of three stacking bowls that I thrifted and to stack them I've got these little uh, sauce bowls from my dish set, the everyday set, and I'm going to set that in there. I'm going to angle this bow a little bit at the side. I've got another sauce bow. I'm going to sit down in there. You can't see it. And then in the top one, I've added some strawberries for summer. 
And there is my stacking bowl. To go with my strawberry theme, I have a couple of little berry baskets and just a couple of little strawberries in that. Salt and pepper shakers. Salt and pepper shaker, I believe, came from Hobby Lobby this year. Now to add some old with some new, you guys know how I like to do that. I have my Roseville bowl. And I have some old potato mashers that I'm just going to drop in there. And I love how the handles look. You can tell how old those are. And I'm just dropping the biscuit cutters uh, in there. I did find the little timer in a strawberry. I believe that was from Hobby Lobby this year. And I got these last year, I believe, from Hobby Lobby in the red. They are measuring cups, and I just want to set them out there. I have one more thing I want to add, and that was a vintage apron that I had thrifted. And I want to add this. I could add it up here like this and have it draped over, or I can have it here on the stove ready to grab, just like you would a tea towel. So let's move on to the next area. This next area, that's right, I'm adding another cutting board in this light bamboo color. To continue with my vintage blue, I did find this rug on Amazon.com and fell in love with it. Okay guys, we're going to start back here. I hope the lighting is okay. Uh, when you look over here at the right, there is my pantry doors, my calendar, Land of Blessings. I get that from Amazon.com and I thrifted the frame that it goes in all of this is thrifted except for the cutting board back there that came from Hobby Lobby and the basket is already for fresh picked flowers or vegetables out of the garden got that already moving over hanging here on the end of the counter is just a plain white kitchen towel a little pillow that says blessed in the vintage blue ticking and a couple of little wooden items added there on the hook. Up here I have the tray. This is the larger tray from Hobby Lobby and the vases are from Hobby Lobby this year. I got the small one. I just loved it. So when I went back I just decided that I wanted the larger one too. And I just added a vintage rolling pin and some little blueberries to go along with the vintage blue. Over here is just some farmhouse style faux eggs in a wire basket. And the vintage vegetable basket has lettuce and cabbage. And I got those from Hobby Lobby and I added it with a blue napkin along with some vintage seed packets that I ordered from eBay. Up at the top on the first shelf, I just have an ironstone platter back there just to highlight the flow blue pitcher and uh, gravy boat and some cutting boards 
and my limelight live plant. Up at the top is the vase that I thrifted, a cutting board from Hobby Lobby, a milk glass jar thrifted, and another platter along with some thrifted candlesticks that I painted. The market sign is from Hobby Lobby this year and I love it so much. I'm gonna enjoy it all year. I did add some vintage blue curtains to my window and I still have my vine and you can see that it's growing a little bit. Love the greenery. Over here on the cutting board that remains here and I use this when I use my crock pot so that it doesn't get hot on my cork countertop. But that is a little egg holder from Hobby Lobby. The vintage dish strainer came from eBay and I'll put that link below. I think you can also find them on amazon.com. Another clear milk bottle that goes along with the farmhouse scene and the chicken and the rooster plates that you've seen I thrifted and I'm just loving that color because as you can see a lot of the items that I have in my kitchen are in the red white and blue and my hand soap and dish soap remain there uh, those came from Amazon.com and the tray was thrifted. That is a Roseville vintage crock and I just have my scrubber in there. And I moved this plant back over here by my window because it needs constant water in those terracotta pots. So I decided to move it back over here by my sink where I can water it every couple of days because it, it got to look in a little peak at where I had it over on my sideboard. So I wanted to move that back. That is just a marble, the black marble, a paper towel holder. And I've had that for so long, guys, I couldn't tell you where I, I've had, I got it from. I have had it well over 10 years, I'm sure. And then up there is just some little greenery hanging up there on the side of the cabinet and my coffee bar. There is some jars with some copper cookie cutters and my honey teaspoons. And this has just remained the same. Nothing's changed there along with the utensils in my crock. Now here, uh, I have gathered all of my strawberry stuff and I just I was at first going to put this on my hutch with the blue dishes but I decided to just put it over here uh, on my noodle board that Larry has made me and I just decided to do a little vignette over here and like I said, I love to mix the new with the old. I have my vintage apron that is strawberries hanging there on the front of the stove, all ready to go. And up above, I left the basket there. Nothing has changed up at the top. I'm not ready to change anything out there yet. And then over here is my slate cutting board that came from Hobby Lobby a while back. And my vintage tea pitcher with the blue stripe. I put some faux ivy in it. Okay guys, this is the view from standing in my mudroom and I got a vintage blue rug. I want it to stay with the vintage blue theme. And I've added a little bit of red so I can actually go right into the red, white, and blue. Probably just add a few little flags to some of my decor and I think it's all ready. But this is the view walking in from the mudroom.